All right, guys, this is Mr. Market Switch, and uh, today is our first day for mentorship program. And as I promised, that I'll uh, take you through the whole, the whole thing, because we want to clear everything. We want to go through everything so that we may be in a position to teach you as, as well. So today, our presentation starts from this point here. Uh, the first thing, kitu cha kwanza ambacho watu nakizingatia kwenye presentation zetu za forex ni disclaimer disclaimer ya forex huwa inakuwa ni namba moja so before deciding to trade in the foreign exchange you should be careful consider your investment objectives level of experience and risk appetite the possibility exists that you should sustain a loss of some or all of your initial investment and therefore you should not invest money you cannot afford to lose you should be aware of all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. Kwa hiyo kama kuna mtu ambaye ni mara ya kwanza anaanza kujifunza haya japokuwa najua wengi tayari tuna basic lazima tufahamu kwamba hapa ndio mali ambako tunaanzia. Disclaimer is everything kwenye biashara forex because tuna deal na biashara ambayo ina very high risk, very high risk. Of course what tunasema the high risk, the high return lakini kwenye biashara ya forex tuna, tuna, tunaweka exception kidogo kwa sababu it's a very high risk business but uh, ni biashara ambayo pia ukielewa vizuri na ukajua jinsi ya kuifanya inaweza kukuingizia kipato kizuri. Kwa oh. hapo ndo mali ambako tunaanzia guys it's very important for everyone ambaye yupo katika soko la forex kufahamu uh, umuhimu wa hii disclaimer. It's the, the, biashara forex forex sio uh, sio a get rich quick uh, Uh, scheme it is a business that you need to learn and develop a proper knowledge uh, na, 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 na uwe na competency ya kutosha ambayo itakusaidia uweze kuperform vizuri sokoni so guys this is a disclaimer this is a disclaimer na nafahamu wengi tuna tunaelewa now the most important question is what is a forex sababu tunaanzia hapo forex Uh, tunafahamu kwamba okay forex ni moja ya financial market tuna financial market nyingi tuna uh, tuna stock market uh, stock exchange market uh, stock market uh, na tuna bonds tuna futures tuna commodities tuna tuna vitu vingi tuna uh, options vitu viko kibao financial market ni soko kubwa ambalo limecombine vitu vingi masuala hayo ambayo nimeyasema hapo bonds kuna masuala ya equity kuna masuala ya commodity kuna masuala ya options kuna masuala ya futures vitu viko vingi sana kwa financial market lakini kwenye uh, kwenye forex zaidi tunazungumza kuhusiana na currency market tunazungumzia kuhusiana na currency market uh, japokuwa kwa sasa mabroka wengi sasa wameweza kuinvolve vitu vingine vyote ambavyo tumeweza kuvizungumzia kwa mfano unaweza kuta uh, broker ni wa forex lakini ndani yake na unaweza ka trade options unaweza ka trade futures unaweza ka trade uh, uh, unaweza ka trade indices uka trade index uka trade Uh, commodities uka trade vitu vingi sana uh, bonds uka trade uka trade uh, stock ukaweza kutrade kwenye kwa mabroker ambao wame, uh, wako zaidi kwenye forex lakini wanaweza waka uka trade hiyo vitu vingine kwa sababu ya, eh, zote zinakuwa kama CFD contract for difference kwa hiyo una trade katika the price movement kulingana volatility iliyopo uh, inaosababishwa na liquidity iliyoko sokoni so what is forex forex uh, ni kifupi cha maneno haya foreign exchange foreign exchange ama wakati mwingine tunatumia maneno uh, tunatumia harufu mbili fx ikimaanisha uh, forex au kwa maana ya foreign exchange now what is forex forex is the exchange of one currency for another or the conversion of one currency into another ni mbalishano wa fedha eh, ukitaka kwenda marekani leo una shillings utaenda kwenye birodi change au utaenda bank uta exchange unapofanya ile tendo la kufanya exchange ya shillings na dola maana yake pale unafanya foreign exchange uh, tofauti ya, ya, ya online forex uh, online forex trading ambayo tunaifanya na ile ambayo ni physical ni kwamba online forex trading ile inakuwa inafanyika in real time inakuwa ina, inafanyika at the price movement inafanyika at the contract kati ya buyer na seller sawa sawa tunakuwa na contract kati ya, ya buyer na seller So you buy at a certain price if you buy at a certain price and the price goes up you make a profit if you sell at the certain price and the price goes down you make a profit ndo maana kuna kuwa na tofauti hiyo kwa hiyo huku tunakuwa tunakuwa na hiyo uh, global market ambako ndani yake kuna kuwa na currency nyingi ambazo sasa tunakuwa tunafanya exchange in real time 
Roman Atunasema, sometimes foreign exchange also refer to the global market where currencies are traded visually around the globe. You trade at the real time. You trade at the real time. Sio kama unabai leo, alafu una hold it kwa muda fulani, kwa mba ikifika mahali fulani, unaenda unaipeleka unaseli. No. When you buy in the forex market and the market goes on your side, then you make profit. If you sell and the market goes on your side, you make profit. That is the difference kati ya iyo online forex trading na ile mungine ya kawaida. Now, what is the history of forex? Tunafahamu. Forexi ilianza mbali sana. Hata kaba ya gold standard system, tulikuwa na kituna jitwa barter trade. Exchange ya goods na 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 goods uh, ilikuwa ni kwa barter trade watu wanabalishana bidhaa na bidhaa pale ndio mali ambapo tulianza kuwa na hiyo uh, mfumo wa foreign, foreign exchange lakini wakati ule kulikuwa kuna fedha kulikuwa kuna bidhaa watu wako wanabalishana kwa mfano hao watu wana ngombe na hao wengine wana mahindi wana nafaka kwa wenye ngombe wanabalishana watu wenye nafaka ili wenye ngombe wapate nafaka na wenye nafaka wapate ngombe kwa hiyo kama watu wanataka kula nyama wanabalishana kwa mfumo huo wataka kula na tumia nafaka wanabalishana kwa fumo huu ilianza kwenye barter trade lakini baadaye tukaja yakagundulika mawe ya thamani mawe ya thamani ambayo ndio tukaja tukaona dhahabu tukawa na almasi na wakati ilipogundulika uh, dhahabu tukawa na kitu tunachoitwa gold standard system of course kabla ya gold standard system watu walikuwa wanabadilishana dhahabu walikuwa wanabadilishana dhahabu uh, bila kuwa na kipimo maalum kwa sababu watu walikuwa wanaona ni mawe tu ya thamani watu wanabadilishana tu hivyo hivyo bila kuwa na kipimo cha thamani lakini baadaye Uh, watu walipokuwa wanaelimika zaidi na kuwa civilized wakagundua kwamba haya uh, mawe ni ya, ya thamani sana kwa hiyo wakaamua kuyaweka kwenye vipimo fulani na yakawa na kitu kinachoitwa tukawa na kitu kinachoitwa gold standard system gold standard system kimsingi ilikuwa ni, ni mfumo wa international payment it was a, 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 a method of international payment wakati huu wa gold standard system ina maana nchi ilipokuwa ikitaka kufanya manunuzi ya ki, kimataifa kwa mfano kama ambavyo tunaona sasa hivi nchi yetu inanunua ndege ilikuwa wakati ule kama tunataka kununua ndege huko nchi kwenye makampuni ya nchi tulitakiwa tufanye manunuzi kwa kutumia gold eh tukumbuka tunazungumza gold standard system kabla ya kuja na ile na, na, na ile mfumo wa USD as a primary reserve currency eh tutakuonyesha historia yake uta, utaelewa kwa nini Uh, USD ilikuja kuwa kwenye uh, kuwa the most uh, the most used currency kwenye masuala ya transactions na vitu vingine kama hivyo. Lakini before tulikuwa na gold standard lakini pia tukaja tukawa na silver eh, zote hizi zilikuwa zinatumika. Sasa changamoto ya gold na silver ilikuwa ni kwamba ilikuwa ikigundulika mgodi mpya. Manake price ya gold au ya silver sokoni ina ina, ina fluctuate sana. Eh, kwa mfano ikagundulika migodi mipya mingi manake price ya gold uh, sokoni inashuka na silver inashuka eh uh, gold ikiadimika au silver ikiadimika manake price ina, inafanyaje inapanda kwa hiyo kulikuwa kuna vitu kama hivyo sasa ilikatokea wakati ule tulipokuja kuwa na, na na vita ya pili ya dunia eh kwenye vita ya pili ya dunia kwenye vita ya pili ya dunia uh, ule mfumo wa gold uh, ule mfumo wa gold system ukawa ume Uh, mfumo wa gold ukao ume, umefanyaje umeshindwa kuendelea ukao uko shut down why kwa sababu watu walifocus zaidi kwenye vita kwa hiyo kulikuwa kwa mna watu ambao wako kwenye wako kwenye ku, ku wako kwenye kuchimba madini na so on and so forth vita ya pili ya dunia uh, gold standard broke down and therefore followed by great wars argument baada ya mfumo wa gold standard system kuvunjika uh, kumbuka kwenye vita ya pili ya dunia kuna taifa moja alikuingia kwenye vita Uh, taifa ambalo alikuja kwenye vita ile ilikuwa ni uh, Marekani. Kwa Marekani yeye kwa sababu alikuja kwenye vita ilikuwa ni fursa kubwa sana kwake kusupply vitu mbalimbali, kusupply madawa, kusupply uh, silaha na, ku, na, ku, na, na lakini pia kutoa mikopo kwenye nchi ambazo zilikuwa zinahitaji fedha kwa ajili ya kufinance hiyo vita. Kwa hiyo taifa la Marekani lika likainuka sana kiuchumi against other uh, other nation. Mwisho wa siku Uh, sasa kwa sababu yenyewe ilikuwa ni super power uh, economy uh, currency yake sasa ikaanza kutumika ndio maana baada ya, ya kuvunjika kwa ile gold standard system kukaja na kitu kinachoitwa great Bret, breton woods system ilifanyika kule marekani na breton woods system ikaja na breton woods agreement 
zile Bretton Woods agreement zilikuwa hivi waliamua kwamba sasa hivi wataifanya USD kuwa a primary reserve currency primary reserve currency kwa hiyo nchi yoyote ikitaka kufanya manunuzi ilitakiwa ifanye manunuzi kwa kutumia USD kwa sababu uh, by that time US, uh, Marekani ilikuwa the super power economy na ndio ilikuwa na ilikuwa pia imekopesha mataifa makubwa kwa hiyo ilikuwa na wadai lakini pia ilikuwa na ilikuwa na, na ina supply sila kwa hiyo ma, manunuzi mengi 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 uh, yakao nafanyika kwa kutumia USD kwa sababu wakati huo Marekani ilikuwa ina in a say over the economy of the world kwa hiyo uh, baadaye ikaendelea lakini mwaka 1971 Uh, mwezi wa, uh, wa nane, uh, tare kuna tano, mwenye mwenye sabi na moja, wakati uo raiso wa marekani ya kiwa Richard Nixon, akafunga ishu ile ya window, uh, na pia uh, pamoja na USD, lakini pia, akaruhusu sasa tuwe na soko huria, tuwe na kitu kama soko huria la currency. Kwa hiyo hile swala kwamba lazima uwe na USD likaundolewa, swala kwamba lazima uwe na gold likaundolewa, kwa hiyo tukaja sasa tukawa na mfumo ambao ni wa soko huria ambako sasa wakuwa na kama kama pool of uh, of currency in the market they are fighting against each other they are competing kulingana na uchumi wa nchi husika kuna kuwa na competition ya ya kulingana na uchumi na uwezo au mabavu alionayo alionayo nchi husika ndio maana unaona uh, baadaye tukaja sasa tukawa na hicho kitu kinaitwa forex market kwa hiyo before this tulikuwa na ile soko kwa sababu lakini ilikuwa liko dominated na USD pamoja na dhahabu lakini baadaye sasa baada ya Richard Nixon kuruhusu kuwa na soko huria la currency uh, thereafter tukaja tukawa na hiyo kitu kinachoitwa forex market ambako sasa tunaweza tukaangalia kwa upana au tukaangalia the way uh, soko lina lina behave na lakini pia tukaweza kuona jinsi ambavyo currency zina zina zina, zina, zina behave against each other kulingana na strength na weakness yake inayotokana na uchumi wa nchi husika. All right, now what is uh, let's look a little bit about forex market. Forex market runs over 5.3 trillion dollar a day. Guys, so kuna forex ina run over 5.3 trillion dollar a day. So it is uh, the largest market, largest financial market in the world. Na baada ya forex market ndio inafuata credit market ama tunaita uh, tungine wanasema ni equity market. Okay. That is the forex market. Just imagine kwenye soko hili kwa siku moja mzunguko wa pesa ni 5.3 trillion dollar. Yaani hili ndio soko ambalo linabeba karibia yaani tuseme pesa zote za dunia. Now, who are the players in the market? Players in the market. You need to understand about the players in the market. Players in the market. Uh, watu ambao wanafanya soko liweze kuwa na volatility ama liweze kuwa na liquidity ina tunaiona. Okay, tunazo tunao players tunazo tuna commercial companies nyingi tu ambazo ziko duniani tuna central banks central banks tunafahamu ziko nyingi tu duniani tuna foreign exchange fixing lakini pia tuna investment management firms tuna non bank foreign exchange non bank foreign exchange lakini pia tuna uh, money transfer remittances companies and bureau uh, bureau exchange uh, kwa mfano non bank foreign exchange companies ni kama western union lakini money uh, ni kama bureau exchange bureau exchange kwa mfano hapa ulipaswa kuwa hapa juu uh, naomba ni urekebishe huu uh, okay okay na, naomba ni urekebishe hapa ili kae vizuri nataka ni urekebishe hapa kai vizuri uh, biro di exchange exchange alright yeah hii imekaa vizuri sasa naweza nikai share i can share it now uh, let me share it now here guys na za kuishia sasa okay tuna number of foreign exchange companies kwa mfano bureau di exchange lakini pia tuna money transfer remittances money transfer remittances kwa mfano western union of course huwa tunapokea la kwa western union lakini watu wajui kwamba is part is part of the uh, forex market ni players in the forex market retail foreign exchange traders 
hapa sasa ndo mali ambapo niko mimi na wewe retail foreign exchange traders uh, tunaunganisha uh, individual ama retail traders wote wote duniani wote duniani tunaleta same money now let's go to uh, forex current pairs uh, of course tunafahamu kwamba tuna trade uh, tuna portrait kwa soko la forex tuna trade pair in pairs tuna magroup mawili ya ya pairs tuna magroup mawili ya pairs kuna major pairs lakini pia tuna cross pairs so the major pairs are the pairs which have usd in it ziko nyingi mfano hapa tuna euro usd kwa sababu kuna usd this is a major usd jpy we have usd there this is a major gbp usd we have usd there so any pair with usd within it is regarded as a major pair so cross pairs the pair that do not have uh, they do not have uh, usd Uh, within so fano euro gbp there is no usd there gbp jpy no usd there audi card no usd euro jpy no usd there canadian dollar jpy no usd there kwa unaweza kuona unaweza kuona jinsi ambavyo tunakwenda kwa hapo tuna group mawili uh, as you can see group la kwanza tumesema ni hilo uh, ni hiyo ni hiyo ni hiyo major pair na group la pili tumesema ni hiyo uh, group la pili ni hiyo nani uh, ni hiyo cross pairs ni hiyo cross pairs it's very important it's very important to understand the higher mawili now how to read the currencies uh, tuna magroup mawili tuna, tuna uh, kwenye pair ya, 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 ya kwenye pair tuna, tunakuwa na, na, na currency pair ambayo inakuwa imeganyika katika sehemu mbili uh, as you can see tunaona this is a euro usd e currency ya kwanza huwa tuna regard as a base currency ile ya pili tuna regard as a quoted currency so uh, so uh, when we have euro usd like this the first pair is regarded as a base currency the second one as uh, as a quoted currency kimsingi ile ya kwanza ambayo ni base currency huwa inakuwa kama commodity ama inakuwa kama product afu ile ya pili yake inakuwa ndio kama fedha kwa tunatumia ile ya pili yake kufanya Uh, kufanya manusi ya ile ya kwanza. So, now how to read the currency? If you find euro USD at this price, at this price, how do you read it? Manake, manake kama euro hapa ni, ni commodity ama ni product. Alafu hii ndio pesa. Guys, mbuka hii ni biashara ya pesa na pesa. Kwa kama ni biashara ya pesa na pesa lazima pesa moja igeuke iwe kama bidhaa. Kwa hiyo hapa ile ya kwanza huwa tuna regard as a bidhaa, ile ya pili inakuja regard as a fedha. Kwa hiyo kama tukikuta uh, i package ama i pair iko katika price hii maana yake tuna uh, inahitajika USD 1.2524 kununua euro moja. Kwa euro moja ita cost 1.2524 USD. Sawa? Kwa hiyo ndo, ndo huwa tunasema katika mfumo huo. Kwa hiyo okay. So as I said this is a base currency this is a quoted currency. Well if you find something like this means 1 euro cost 1.2524 USD. That's how it is guys. Well, it's very simple just like that. Just like that. It's very simple just like that. Na inakwenda inakwenda vizuri. Inakwenda vizuri. Inakwenda vizuri. Naomba ni uh, ni mwadi huyu mtu hapa. Wa muhimu sana awepo kwenye darasa. Okay. Sawa. Okay. Telegram. Okay, so this is this is it guys. Now Before we go to concept of currency correlation kwa sababu hii ni uh, package kubwa zaidi naomba nisizungumzie hiyo kwa leo uh, nataka niende kwenye forex market hours and sessions alafu then itatusaidia kupiga hatua zaidi Okay forex market hours and sessions forex market hours and sessions uh, all right 
So, Tuna Farm Forex Market is open 24 hours, 5. 24 hours, 5. And when we say 24 hours, 5, what do we mean? Tuna Manisha, uh, Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday. Lakini pia, so kula Forex hili, Tuna Ligawanya katika sessions, kwa Tuna Ligawanya katika sessions, uh, kuune. We have four major sessions. We have Sydney session, Tokyo session, London session, and New York session. It's only major. Lakini tunaso nyingine ndogo ndogo. Tuna New Zealand session, tuna Frankfurt sessions. Hizo nyingine mbili. Tari zishafika sita. Kwa unaweza kuona, watu wengine wana kufundisha kwa mba kuna four major sessions. Kuna four, only four sessions. Lakini kimsingi, kuna sessions zaidi ya nne. Lakini ambazo kwa tunaziangalia, ni hizi nne kwa sababu uh, uh, zile zikine ndogo ndogo uzimo ndani. Kwa mfano ile New Zealand session, iko ndani ya Sydney session. Lakini pia uh, uh, London, uh, Frankfurt session, iko ndani ya London session. Okay. Now, uh, ukiangale kwenye hii map, utaona mgawanyiko wake vizuri kabisa. Utaona mgawanyiko wake vizuri kabisa. Pale. Mgawanyiko wake vizuri. Utaona from Sydney. Utaona from Sydney. Uh, Tokyo. All right, guys. Uh, Sydney, Tokyo. Then we go like that. Uh, okay. London. Mayona London, Vizuri. London, Iko Pale. I love to New York. To New York. Okay. Okay, Angalia here. Do you see? Take a look at this one. Sydney session, hapa, yangalia hapa. Sydney session in an open, so-called in an open, uh, sasaba usiku. Of course, kuna majira uwa natokea, inakuwa sasita, lakini mostly ni sasaba, sasaba usiku. Achilea zile change of seasons and so on and so forth. Sasaba usiku, inafunguka hiyo Sydney session, inakuenda, sasaba, Sanane, Satisa. Satisa, wakati sidi bado iko open, uh, Tokyo session in open. Kwa kuna kuna overlapping kati ya Tokyo na Sydney. Satisa, Sakumi, Sakuna moja, Sakuna mbili, Samoja, Sambili, Satatu, Sydney session in a close. Na posema in a close, ya imanishi kwamba soko lina, uh, linafungwa, Hapana, tunamanisha kwa, kwa sehemu kubwa mabenki ya Australia. Of course, tunaposema sikini manaki tunamanisha Australia. Tuna refer to Australia. Uh, masoko me, uh, mabenki makubwa, central banks na mabenki makubwa Australia na kuwa tayari ya, me, ya me, ule muda wa kazi mkubwa umeisha. Ule muda wa transaction kubwa kubwa umeisha. Lakini soko lina, uh, linaendelea. Sababu watu bado wako sokoni na exchange linaendelea. Kwa hiyo, uh, Tokyo inaendelea. Kwa nse hiyo, satatu, sa ne, uh, satano, sa sita, sa saba, sa nane, sa tis, uh, uh, no, no, no. Hii sa, hii ni sa, uh, sa, 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 sa saba, sa nane, sa tisa, sa kumi, sa kumna moja, sa kumna mbili, sa moja, sa mbili, sa tatu, sa nane, sa tano. Inaendelea mpaka hapo, sa tano. Mbuka tumianza kwe sabu usiku kwa hiyo, lazima tuende, uh, tuamkia subu yake. Uh, tumianza hiyo sa saba, tunaenda. Kwa hiyo Tokyo, Paka satano, satano, maso, mabengi makubwa ya Tokyo ya nakuwe mefunga paka mda huu satano. Uh, lakini uh, biashara zinaendelea zingine, kawaida. Uh, sasa tunaposema kwenye hizi ovalapi, manake ni wakati ambao au ni majira ambayo, kuna kuona volatility kubwa ya soko, ukilinganisha na majira mengine yote. Kwa hiyo, uh, uh, kama wewe ukiwa, ukiwa vizuri uh, na ukiamua kufuatilia kwa makini, Utajua kwamba muda mzuri wa kutredi ni ule muda ambao kuna kuwa na hizo overlapping. Ule, ule muda ambao nakuta soko la sikini mefunguliwa na toki ni mefunguliwa alafu zima overlap. Kwa hiyo kwanze sa tisa, sa kumi, sa kuna moja, sa kuna mbili, sa moja, sa mbili, sa tatu. Hapa mahali soko huwa limechangamuka sana. Maka ufikia sa tatu, soko huwa limechangamuka, lime limechangamuka, changamuka. Sa nne, uh, ule mchangamuka wa soko unapungua, lakini sa tano unarudi kwa nguvu kubwa sana. Ule mchangamuka wa soko unarudi kwa nguvu kubwa sana kwa sababu ni wakati ambako London inafunguliwa lakini ina overlap kwa kisali moja 
uh, Tokyo. Kwa hiyo hapa hapa ukitrade pair kama vile Euro JPY, GBP, JPY eh uh, unakuwa kwenye position nzuri sana ya kutengeneza uh, kuweza la nzuri. Kipindi hichi hapa kwenye hiyo valapi ni ukitrade Australian dollar, Japanese yen, ukitrade NZD, JPY, uh, ukitrade uh, pair kama vile uh, Uh, euro audi gbp out eh pia kama hizo ukitrade ukitrade pia kama uh, yes hizo zenye jpy zenye audi unakuwa kwenye position nzuri sana uh, ya kufika kwenye audi sio kwanza kwenye ile eneo ukitrade kwenye hizo pia wakati huu zinakuwa kwenye movement nzuri ndio maana wakati mwingine unakuta uh, pair kama vile ze, za audi zina move sana majira ya usiku kwenye nyuzi zake zikitokea na move sana volatility yake ni kubwa sana hata pair za, za NZD uh, kukiwa na nyuzi ya NZD unashangaa nyuzi nyingi za NZD zinatokea usiku kwa sababu soko lake lipo kwenye majira haya ya usiku usiku kuanzia hiyo saa 7 saa 8 saa 9 saa 10 kwa hiyo nyuzi zake zinyenyezi zine, zinakuepo majira hayo mpaka kufikia saa 11 uh, nyuzi zake bado zinakuwa zinatoka kwa hiyo unakuta uh, ikitokea nyuzi ya NZD ama Audi kipindi hichi hapa katikati soko lina move Uh, uh, na move massively massively kwa sababu kuna kuwa na hiyo overlapping uh, sasa kwa pair ambazo ziwa zina move sana ni zile pair za uh, zenye JP uh, zenye Audi na, J, na JPY uh, NZD na JPY zinakuwa uh, zinakuwa zinakwenda katika mfumo huo alright guys so now sunday tunaacha na nayo saa 5 wakati kuna kuwa na London opening guys i tell you what it's gonna be crazy it's, it's always crazy here sababu so, soko wali na move pia linakuwa limechangamka tena tukiwa na nyuzi uh, kukiwa na nyuzi hapa saa 5 ambayo ina support opening ya hii London uh, soko lina move massively guys soko lina move massively 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 uh, kama ukitaka kufuatilia fuatilia hata kesho uh, majira haya ambayo nimesema hapa kwenye Sydney na Tokyo lakini pia fuatilia majira haya ya saa 5 ndio maana you need to know when to trade and when not to trade kwa kujua tu mgawanyiko wa hizi session inaweza kukusaidia sana ujioni wakati gani unaweza uka jump in into the market uka trade na wakati gani unaweza kutulia mpaka usubirie movement ya soko inakwendaje okay kuna kuna haya majira hapa saa sita, saa saba, saa nane. haya majira hapa bado tuna deal na zile pair lakini pia tunaongeza pair nyingine hapa ambazo tuna currency nyingine ambazo tuna deal nayo swiss franc tuna deal nayo sana mazingira wakati huu hapa pia kwa sababu Uh, ili ni soko London session ni soko la Ulaya na, na Frankfurt uh, na, 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 na uh, Frankfurt uh, ni moja hapo ya, 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 ya soko ambao liko kwenye ukanda wa Ulaya kwa hiyo liko involved huko ndani lakini pia tunapoangalia pair za namna hiyo Swiss franc tunaangalia hizo pair za, za euro pound tunaangalia eh, pair nyingi currency nyingi ambazo zina zinakuwa na hizo pairs zinazohusiana na Ulaya Ulaya Uh, tuna, tunaweza tukaona wakati mwingine unakuta soko la Swiss franc lina move sana ama lina take direction wakati huu mazingira haya lakini pia pia kama za euro pia kama za pound news zake nyingi zinakuwa zinatokea maeneo haya kwa hiyo unaweza uka, ukaona trade lakini pia inapofika saa kumi saa kumi guys wakati ambako linafunguka dude lenyewe uh, na linafanya overlap na London session kwa overlapping ya London na New York hapa majira haya ni muhimu sana kuyazingatia kwa sababu hiyo overlapping ya London na New York manake tunakuwa tuna deal na pair kama za euro pound na USD uh, you see that's what uh, that's, 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 that's what we are focusing on kwa sababu tunakuwa na hii overlapping kwenye hii uh, majira haya saa kumi wakati New York inafunguliwa lakini ina overlap na London session saa kumi, saa kuna moja, saa kuna mbili, saa moja, saa mbili. Saa mbili Uh, 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 sa, sa moja tunakuwa tumemaliza ma, ma, ma benki makubwa ya London inakuwa imeshafunga wakati huu kwa hiyo unakuta shughuli zinaendelea lakini central banks nyingi transaction kubwa kubwa hazizi zikafanyika kipindi hichi lakini New York inaendelea New York inaendelea kuanzia hiyo saa mbili saa tatu uh, mpaka kuja kuzunguka huku mpaka kufika hiyo saa tano na mpaka saa sita usiku ambako inapokezana na nani na sita kwa, so guys this is the cycle of the market within five days of the week Uh, kwa sababu ni 24 hours 5. Kwa hiyo unapofunguliwa Jumatatu mpaka Jumatatu hii ndo cycle yake na you need to understand this cycle kwa sababu inakusaidia kufahamu uh, movement movement ya soko inavyokwenda. So this is very important guys. Ni muhimu sana kufahamu hili na itakusaidia sana kwenye soko la forex. 
Okay. Well, hi, I'm Michelle Elezea. Michelle Elezea, Australian Session, Tokyo Session. Michelle Elezea, pay ambazo nataka kutredi kwa kona kwa misha kwekia Audi, JPY, NZD, JPY, London Sessions, ya mekwekia yuma GBP, JPY, ya kopale, you see. Kwa ni mapea ambayo unazo kazingatia, Euro USD, GBP USD, USD, Swiss Franc, pay ambazo ziko pia. Okay, kwa hiyo ni summary ya kila mbacho tulikuwa. Okay, guys, kamba sijaenda kwenye, kamba sijaenda kwenye forex charts. Kamba sijaenda kwenye forex charts. If we have any question, please. Kama tunaswali lolote, ni karibisha kusiana na forex market hours. Alafu, bada ya hapo, tuendele kwenye hatua inayofota. Any question, guys? If there is anyone with any question, please, you're welcome. Kuna mtu anaswali, guys? Nikuwa na zungumzia hizo forex market hours. Niza muhim sana, muhim sana, muhim sana. Muhim sana. Muhim sana guys, muhim sana. Any question? Kama kuna swali? Kama tuna swali na indelea? Tuna sikiliza na jamani? Okay, thank you Mr. Fonka. I think it unaweza tuka indelea. Yes, I think it unaweza tuka indelea. Tunde kwenye hizi forex charts. Forex chart. Okay, tuna chart za aina tatu ambazo watu na zizingatia. Tuna zizingatia mara nyingi. Ambazo watu na zizitumia. Uh, tuna ziko za ina tatu tuna 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 bar chart tuna candlestick chart pamoja na line chart lakini uh, forex chart are described by the following four ways tuna describe forex chart katika maeneo haya katika katika maneno haya manne open high low close open high low close ili muhim sana kwa sababu hizi uh, 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 forex chart lazima ziwe na opening price lazima ziwe na highest reached price na lowest uh, lowest price and the closing price. So don't say my open, man I can open in price. High, highest price. Low, lowest price. Close, close closing price. For your kama ni soko la forex lazima litakuwa na opening price, litakuwa na highest price, litakuwa na lowest price, litakuwa na closing price. So that's we need to understand about all that. Means ana kufahamu. So let's start with bar chart. You see this is bar chart guys. This is bar chart. Ya kwanza inawakilisha a bullish, a buying, a buying bar chart. A buying bar chart. Ya hapa inawakilisha a selling bar chart. Why this is a buying bar chart? Kwa sababu, tunanzia somewhere at the lowest price, alafu price ina keep on rising until it reach at the high. So, this is the lowest price, then the price keep on rising. Price ina kwena panda paka kufika kwenye highest price. Sasa, kama this one is the lowest price, that means... Uh, there has to be an opening price. For this low, low here is the lowest price in the market before the opening price. For beya chini kaba ya beya kufungulia soko. Beya kufungulia soko iko somewhere hapa. Then tunaenda, tunaenda, tunaenda. Indo beya juu kabisa ilo fikiwa sokoni ya iyo pea. Lakini beya chini, uh, beya kufungia uh, ya iyo market ilikuwa ni here. Kwa tunakona fikendo fingi fingi lakini vinakuwa vinawakilisha lowest price, highest price. Opening price, closing price. Sababu, it is a battle between buyers and sellers. Uh, unapona kila bar chart ama kila candlestick chart inafungua na kufunga ama zinatengeza zile bar nyingi nyingi manake it's a battle. It's a, a battle between ama it's a result between a battle. Uh, uh, it's a result of a battle between buyers and sellers. Sababu, siku zote soko linakuwa under buying pressure or selling pressure. Kwa hiyo, it's just like that. Now this is a this is the a bearish a bearish bar chart. You see this bearish bar chart when it has a kwanzia you. Kama ni bearish bar chart manake price ina fall from the top. By bay huaga ina sell kutoka you ina anguka kutoka you. So this was the highest price reached by the market. Then after this highest price reached by the market, kukawa kuna high selling pressure. So ili high high selling pressure ikatengeneza i opening price. Then the market kept on falling. So kuli kashuka, kuli kashuka. Paka kuli kafikia the lowest price, the lowest price in the market. Then baada ya pia kujaga funga somewhere, the closing price somewhere above it. Kwa hizi zinakuwa hizi hizi baadhi zinakuwa before open price and after and before closing price. 
what was regarded as the shadow week ama tuna regarded as uh, the high and lows kwa hiyo ni bar chart kwa bar chart kwenye chart kabisa kiwalisia inaonekana hivi you see this guys kwa unaweza kaona jinsi inavyoonekana so hivi vibaa vidogo vidogo ndivyo ambavyo kwa tuna describe hapa tumechukua tumechukua kimoja cha bearish na tukachukua kimoja cha bullish ndo tukavi ndo tukavielezea hapa sawa kwa sasa hivi na uhakika unaelewa uh, tulichokuwa tunakifanya kwa so this is a, 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 this one here is a, a, bar, a selling bar chart and this uh, this green one here is the buying bar chart so you see the market moving in a wave like in a wave like up down up down which shows that the market is under buying and selling pressure buyers and seller and sellers pressure the last one the last one is the candle candle chart candle chart the second one the candlestick chart not the last the last one is the line chart the last one is this line chart so the second one is candlestick chart now the candlestick chart is not different from the bar chart the only is not uh, uh, it does not have a big difference from the bar chart uh, the only difference is that candlestick chart has got a body unaona candlestick chart inakuwa na body uh, wakati ile ilikuwa haina body ilikuwa ni skeleton bar chart ni skeleton lakini candlestick chart inakuwa na body inakuwa na mwili or the same description high low close open the same as we look on on what as we look on on bar chart kwa unaweza kaona unaweza kaona hapa kwenye candlestick chart tuna hii highest price close price lowest open price so this is a bullish candle this one represent a bearish candle high open uh, low close so this is a this is what it uh, what it, it implies tunakuwa tuna represent sasa kwenye mfumo huu hizi zenye zenye rangi nyeupe au hizi colorless tunasema ni, ni bullish candlestick alafu hizi nyekundu ni bearish candlestick so the market is moving like that so this is what we call a candlestick chart so you see that one guys line chart line chart show the price it's it, uh, it shows show the close price and uh, it is obtained by connecting the close price on hii bar chart ambayo unaiona hapa sawa tunaipata kwa kuunganisha the close price kama hizo ambazo tunaziona kwenye kwenye nini kwenye hii ambazo tunaziona kwenye hii hii hi candlestick chart so kwa 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 bullish candle tunafahamu kwa bullish candle close price iko juu kwa bearish candle close price iko chini kwa hiyo tunachokifanya kwenye line chart ni kuchora mstari unao unao unganisha zile closing price za kila candle Uh, 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 kwa kuzingatia kwamba ni bullish ama ni ni ni, ni bearish. Kwa hii line chart ilipatikana kwa kuunganisha closing prices za either bullish or candlestick uh, bearish candlestick. Now, we have two terminology in the forex market. We have two terminology uh, two termino important terminology for for buyers and sellers. Uh, we have bulls and bears. Now, who are the bulls? Bulls are buyers in the market for rise in price due to high demand. So bulls are buyers. Wenyewe wana wana wanakuwa wana 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 wanaangalia demand wana 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 wanaingia sokoni wakati price imepanda ina, ina, inapanda kutokana na demand kuwa kubwa. Bears ni sellers in the market ambao wanaangalia uh, falling of the price. They move with the falling of the price kutokana na supply kuwa kubwa na demand kuwa ndogo. So we have that bulls and bears we have another terminology which is spread Now what is spread? Spread is the difference. Spread ni tofauti kati ya bei ya kuuzia na bei ya kununulia. So mtu anikwambia spread ni nini? Maana ni tofauti kati ya bei ya kuuzia na bei ya kununulia. Siku zote bei ya kununulia ambayo mabanki wanayo ni ya, ni bei ya chini. Bei yao ya kuuzia ni ya juu ili watengeneze profit. I think ume, umeelewa hapo. Kwa mfano let's say you have GBP Audi. Eh labda una pound Australian dollar. Alafu ask price ni 1.8873 ask price maana ni bei yao ya kufanyaje ya kuuzia kwa hiyo tunaenda ku, ku we are going to uh, we are going to ask to, we are going to we will always buy at the ask price ukienda bank utabai kama una, unataka kununua dola ama unataka kununua t shillings utanunua at the ask price ukitaka kuuza if you want to sell either dollar you sell at the bid price So what does it mean? Bei ya kuuzia 
unaona ni kubwa kuliko bei ya kununulia. Bei ya kuuzia ni 1.8873 wakati bei ya kununulia ni 1.8866. So, wewe kama una pound, unataka kwenda ku exchange na Audi maana yake uh, kama unataka ku buy pound, you buy pound at the ask price. Uh, kama unataka ku, 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 ku sell pound, uta sell pound at the uh, at the bid price. Sawa? So uh, unaweza kuona kwamba uh, sell, uh, sell price is higher than bid price. Okay. Sasa ukitaka kutafuta spread, spread ni nini? Spread sasa ni, ni tofauti kati ya bei ya ku ya kuuzia na bei ya kununulia. Tofauti kati ya ask price na bid price. Hiyo ndo nini? Ndo spread. Kwa hiyo ukichukua spread ukachukua ask minus bid price, maana yake unachukua 1.4473 minus hii hapa. Kwa hiyo hii hapa ndio nini? Ndio ndio tunasema nini? Ndio tunasema spread sema spread. Kwa hiyo sasa spread inaonyesha amount of money that can be taken by a broker in every open position. Yaani spread inakuonyesha sasa broker anapata nini unapofungua position. Kumbuka ili kutrade kwa soko la forex you need a broker. Kwa hiyo when you need a broker maana yake nini? Maana yake sasa broker naye akiku offer uh, account akakupa na leverage, akakupa na products zake ambazo eh, zipo kwenye ile list ya market watch eh, manake naye pia inabidi apate hela sababu naye anafanya biashara kwa what you do uh, ye yeah, anachukua spread kwa spread ile anayochukua yeye ndio inakuwa 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 kama charges za wewe kumtumia huyo broker kwa hiyo inakuwa ni faida kwake kwa hiyo spread ndio kitu ambacho ndio mali ambako broker anapatia anapatia chochote ili maisha na, na yeye yaweze kwenda yaweze kwenda vizuri kwa hiyo tusi, tusi Tusilalamike sana tunapoona kuna spread kwenye pair spread ndio ulaji wa broker ndio maana wakati mwingine kwa mabroker wengi ambao hawana spread wanakuwekea commission kubwa kwa sababu na yeye asipokuwekea commission kubwa hawezi ku survive lazima akuwekee anakudanganya kwamba hajakuwekea spread lakini nyuma hapa zeme kuwekea commission kubwa ni bora basi akuwekee spread na maflani na commission iko pale na maflani ili ukipiga hesabu uone ya yeah, it makes sense au akuwekee uh, spread ujue ni spread au kuweka commission unyoni commission maisha yanakuwa mazuri okay now another terminology is pip and point what is a pip pip is the unit of measurement to express the change in value in the market eh pip ndio ambayo inaonyesha badiliko la thamani kwenye price sokoni eh tunafahamu kwamba price keeps uh, the price keep on changing price inakuwa inabadilika badilika mara kwa mara kutokana na kwamba kunakuwa na volatility na liquidity ya kutosha sokoni kwa hiyo kama kuna kuna activities nyingi ambazo zinaendelea price tunategemea ibadilike. Eh. Kwa hiyo tunasema kwamba a pip is nothing more than the fourth decimal number after the comma. Unapokuja hapa you see guys uh, ili uweze kujua pip ni nini kwa mfano mtu anaingia kwenye NZD USD at this price. Alafu una exit at this price. Unaweza kaulizwa swali how many pips? Si mtu ameingia aidha kusele au kubai kwenye price hii hapa alafu akatoka kwenye price hii hapa maana sasa ili kuweza kupata pip ili kuweza kupata pip kwenye hii chukua hii hapo alipoingilia toa hii alio, alio, pale alipotokea ama chukua ile aliyotokea toa ile aliyoingilia uh, ignore negative kwa sababu huwa tuna negative pip kwenye soko la forex kwa hiyo hata kama ukichukua hii toa hii ukapata negative ignore negative sawa so guys very important kwa okay, ukichukua hii uka minus hii ama hii minus hii uh, ile difference unayoipata ile difference unayoipata kwa mfano hapo tumepata difference ni ngapi 0.00205 sasa what is a pip a pip tumesema is the uh, is, is, is the fourth digit or is the fourth decimal number after the comma kwa kama uh, kama pip ni namba ile ya nne baada ya nukta kwa mfano hapa tumehesabu 1234 na hapa 1234 a pip namba ambayo huwa inabadilika ili kuleta thamani namba ambayo huwa inabadilika ili kuleta thamani ya price ama change of, th of, of value of, of the price sokoni ni hii ya nne hii ya, ya tano huwa inaitwa pipette hii ya tano huwa inazunguka kama mshale wa nini wa sekunde hii ya ya ya, ya, ya nne huwa inazunguka inazunguka kama mshale wa dakika kwa hii ya nne ikizunguka na ikabadilika labda katoka 6 7 8 9 10 10 ndio inaleta nini inaleta Uh, inaleta significant uh, value change kwenye price. Ndio maana unaona hapa iko hivi hivi lakini hapa imebadilika sasa imetoka ngapi? Imetoka sita sasa hivi ni ngapi? Ni saba. Kwa hiyo hii kama ni saba maana yake itakuwa imeleta impact hapa, itakuwa imeleta impact hapa, 
ya kwingine. Unaweza kuona hapa ni saba ni maana sasa hivi ni ngapi? Ni saba. Umeona na hapa hii ni, ni, ni pipe tu huwa inabadilika mara nyingi. Kwa hiyo hii ndio ambayo tunaiangalia. Sasa tunaangalia hii ya nne na hii ya nne. Sasa ili kupata pip exactly pip lazima uchukue hii exit manas uh, manas ent ama ent manas exit then difference unayoipata. Ile difference unayofuata ipata ndio tunayo hesabia sasa. Sasa kwa sababu difference yetu ni 0.00205. Sawa? Ili kujua umetengeneza pip singapi unarudi hatua nne nyuma baada ya decimal unarudi hatua ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu ya nne ile ya nne unaweka nukta mbele ya ile namba ya nne unaweka nukta mbele ya ile namba ya nne usheka nukta mbele ya ile namba ya nne then number of pips zitakuwa ni ngapi 20.5 kwa sababu namba ambazo zinasomeka baada ya kuweka nukta hapa itakuwa ni 20.5 uweze kusoma hizi hapa itakuwa ni 20.5 lakini sasa hiyo ni njia rahisi ya kutafuta pips. Lakini njia nyingine ya kihesabu ya kutafuta pips ni kwamba ukishapata ile difference yako, ukishapata ile difference yako baada ya kuchukua exit minus ent ama ent minus exit, unagawanya kwa smallest change, the smallest change kwenye 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 price kwa kwa price zenye mfumo wa namba 4 baada ya decimal ni 0.0001. Sawa? kwa sababu hata hii namba ya nne hii hapa inabadilika inabadilika kwa moja ikitoka sita inaenda saba ikitoka saba inaenda kwa nane kwa hiyo ukitengeneza general uh, definition ya hii change ya namba ya nne itakuwa ni 0.0001 sawa kwa hiyo ukichukua ile difference gawanya kwa 0.0001 utapata hii the same 20.5 lakini nimekuonyesha njia rahisi kwa sababu hii njia ya mathematics inaweza kukusumbua guys kimsingi Hatuta, hatuta tumia hii ku, kwenye ku calculate pips sokoni kwa sababu tuna automatic wewe unachukua tu crochet una drag unajua number of pips lakini nimekuonyesha hivi for the sake of learning mtu mwingine anakuuliza sasa mwalimu pip ni nini ama unamfundisha mtu anakuambia what is a pip hizi namba zinapatikanaje lazima umuonyeshe kwamba zinapatikanaje this is a mathematics guys i hope you understand kwa hiyo okay, move the decimal of a four place to the right because a pip is always the fourth digit to the right of decimal therefore you get 20.5 pips which is very correct so the last digit the fourth digit is called the minimum change ndo maana tunatumia 0.001 na hapo therefore one point is equal to one pip then unakuwa umepata hiyo ndo maana tunatumia 0.001 pipe ile namba ya 5 ambayo ni kama ni kama ni, ni kama mshale wa sekunde yenyewe haina dili kubwa sana uh, okay another example another example guys uh, labda unaweza ukafanya labda iwe kama quiz kwako let's say you enter NZDSD at this price and exit at this price how many pips naomba tufanye wale ambao ambao wako mko online naomba tufanye uh, uniambie hapa kulikuwa na pips ngapi uliingia kwenye NZDSD uliingia katika price hii hapa alafu ukatoka katika price hii hapa swali how many pips utengeneza pips ngapi hapa now this is a, a, a quiz now naomba ufanye alafu uniandike jibu kwenye upande wa chat hapo niweze kusahihisha naomba uni 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 uni, uni, uni tafutie jibu la hiyo uh, if you can if you can get the answer right now that will be great guys melewa swali naomba ni, ni share tena hii ili niweze kuona swali vizuri you enter NCD USD at that price uliingia kwenye NCD USD naomba uandike hii pembeni sasa hivi kama una kalamu na karatasi chukua andika pembeni piga hesabu hapo wewe uliingia kwenye NCD USD ile either kubaya au kuseli katika price hii hapa. Alafu ikaenda ukatoka kwenye price hii hapa. I think it was a buy kwa sababu unaona hapa imeongezeka. Kwa hiyo you entered at this then the market went up then up to this price. Now the question is how many pips utengeza pips ngapi hapa? Naomba ufanye hiyo quiz nipate majibu. We have few minutes. We have few minutes. Tuna dakika nne kumalizia presentation yetu leo. Any answer guys? Let me see. Tuna pips ngapi pale? Guys tuna tunalewana eh? Naomba tufanye tu, tuwezi ni, ni, nione majibu. Uh, let me share this one again. Utaandika ukishapata jibu andika kwenye chat page hapo. Ni pips ngapi hapo tumetengeneza? How many pips there guys? Umeingia kwenye USD at this price and exit at this price. How many pips? Naomba majibu hapo. 
Hey, come to me, let me How many pips, guys? Okay, mia saba na saba pontisa. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now na kuna uyu mmoja anaweza katosha sababu na wana watu ingine unasubiria. Kuna mtu mwenye jibu lingine? Kama kuna mtu mwenye jibu lingine? Okay, nice. I think the answer is uh, is correct. Ni pipsi mia saba na saba pontisa. Pipsi mia saba na saba pontisa. Kwa sababu unachukua hii, minus hii hapa unapata difference then unagawanya kwa ile smallest change 0.00 au unahesabu unahesabu uh, nafasi nne nyuma kwa sababu a pip is a fourth digit kwenye mfumo wa price zenye namba ngapi namba nne kwa unarudi unarudi hatua ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu ya nne decimal unaweka hapa alafu unaandika namba ambazo zinaandikika inakuwa ndio inakuwa ndio inakuwa ndio nani yako inakuwa ndio pip pip yako alright Nataka tuende kwenye eneo lingine ambalo ni la muhimu sana. Siwezi nikakuacha hapo. Nikikuacha hapo nitakuwa nimekosea. Uh, another one is uh, labda tuangalie mfano halisi. Unakuta mtu ameingia kwenye price hii hapa, alafu una exit hapa. Labda huyu aliingia kusell. Entry price was uh, 1.09027. Exit price was 1.08962. For entry, exit. Entry, exit. So if this is your entry and this is your exit uh, manake unatafuta two pips pale unachukua hii manazi hii hapo unapata difference difference unaenda tu nne nyuma 1 2 3 4 then unaweka decimal mbele ya ile namba ya 4 then unapata 24.5 pips kwa hiyo ni muhimu sana guys to understand lakini tuna exceptional for gold and yen pairs za, za gold na yen zinakuwa na utofauti kwa sababu kumbuka hizi pairs za nyuma tunaona zina zina price yake ini ngapi ina price yenye namba 5 baada ya decimal 1 2 3 4 5 lakini unakuta kuna pairs zingine baada ya decimal eh, kuna kuna namba ngapi baada ya decimal kuna namba baada ya decimal kuna namba 3 sawa kwa pairs za Japanese yen na pairs za gold sawa kwa hiyo kuna namba ngapi unakuta kuna namba kuna namba 3 au kuna namba Yes, kwa namba tatu. Kwa hiyo kwa mfumo, kwa mfumo, let's say kwa mfumo wa wa price, kwa mfumo wa price wenye namba tano, uh, kwa mfano NZD USD, ukutana laba na pair yenye mfumo namba tatu, manake a pip is no longer a fourth digit. A pip is a, a second digit. Kwa pair za gold na yen, uh, the, the second digit after the comma is a pip. Uh, Baada decimal ile namba ya pili ndio inawakilisha pip. Therefore the forex pip is no longer the fourth but the second decimal place and the pipet become the third. Kwa pipet inakuwa ni namba ya ya tatu kwenye kwenye pair za gold na yen lakini pia uh, 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 pip inakuwa ni ile namba ya pili. Uh, kumbuka ule nyuma uh, uh, pip is, was a fourth digit na na, na pipet was uh, uh, unaweza kaona hapa. This this one here was uh, this one here this number number 4 1 2 3 4 this fourth number here was a what was regarded as a pip but then the, the number 5 the the fifth number is regarded as a pipet you see now kwenye hii case ya yen ni tofauti eh unakuta pair labda ya xx japanese yen inakuwa inaandika katika mfumo huu 186.66 kwa hiyo pip is the, the second hii namba ya sita hii namba ya pili hapa ndio ndio nini ndio pip eh kwenye mfumo wa, wa, wa four digits au mfumo wa five digits hii ya pili the same hii ya pili ndio hii ya tatu inakuwa ni pipet kwa hiyo unaweza kaona na uh, manake ni manake smallest change inakuwa ni 0.01 kule smallest change ilikuwa ni 0.001 kwa hiyo unaweza kaona uh, uh, kwa mfano you enter uh, uh, this uh, this this one at 95.343 and exit chart 95.445 kumbuka baada ya decimal kuna namba ngapi tatu baada ya decimal kuna namba ngapi tatu 
unaweza kuona before decimal number 2 lakini baada decimal number 3 before decimal number 2 baada decimal number 3 kwa hiyo a pip is a second digit hii ya tatu hii digit ya tatu inakuwa ni ni pipet kwa hiyo sasa kama uliingia hapa uh, uka exit hapa maana ukitafuta pip sasa kwenye hii price maana yake unachukua either this one minus this one or this one minus this one difference unayopata sasa hivi unaigawanya kwa 0.01 kwa sababu smallest change sasa hivi ni 0.01 au unarudi hatua mbili nyuma kwa sababu nao a pip is a second digit 1 2 kwa hiyo mbele ya digit ya pili unaika nukta inakuwa ni pip hiyo kwa uh, kwa sababu hiyo tunasema because this is a second digit pip number you divide by 0.2 second place hold after this more so it's very easy just like that now i want you guys to do this homework this is uh this is a homework it's not a homework i call it a quiz naomba tufanye hii uh uh alafu niambie ilikuwaje now practice how many pips get out uh, get out your calculator practice how many pips tu unaweza kutumia calculator yako ya simu au whatever uh, alafu niambie was this a sell or a buy huyu jamaa aliingia kwenye price hapa ali enter hapa alafu aka exit hapa eh kwa hiyo niambie was this a sell or a buy was this a sell or a buy all right guys take out your calculator and, and do this area area kumbuka price sasa hivi baada ya decimal kuna namba 3 baada ya decimal kuna namba 3 kwa hiyo uh, you need to uh, kwa hiyo kuna kuna, kuna maswali mawili hapa uniambie pips ngapi zilitengenezwa hapa lakini pia uniambie uh, was this a sell or a buy all right guys you see this namba tufanya haraka haraka dakika moja One minute guys One minute One minute One minute. I need the answer on that. Any answer there, guys? Anyone with the answer? How many pips are there? All right. Thank you, Mr. Levit. Mr. Levit. Yes yes nice you have been a very good a very good student here and i appreciate your uh, your response i appreciate your activeness okay very nice very nice mr levit uh, thank you i think the answer is that and it was a buy clap clap for him guys clap for him it's a, it's a buy it's a buy it's a very good buy uh, and the, the number of pips was 8 48.9 pips uh, and this was a very good buy this was a very good buy guys it was a very good buy it was a very good buy okay guys so today we end up there we don't go to lots and leverage because if you go to lots and leverage it's going to be it's going to be a very huge thing to keep in your mind but uh, today we end up there tomorrow we start with lots and leverage then we move on we we'll move forward from there and uh, after lots and leverage we we'll discuss about broker of course we'll be talking about uh, hot forex more and uh, i'll show you a lot of stuff about hot forex so it's going to be wonderful guys okay if you have any question please uh, naomba kama kuna swali nikaribishe kama kuna swali nikaribishe yeah it was a very good buy mr fonka mr vibe yeah it was a very good buy very good buy okay kama kuna swali kama kuna swali guys hatutaki kukusanya mambo mengi sana yakatumiza vichwa twende twende slowly tutaenda hayo mambo magumu tutayafikia tu lakini tunaanza taratibu tuna grow tuna grow tuna grow tuna grow na tutafika pale vizuri kabisa tukiwa tayari tunaelewa na at the end of the day na wewe unaweza uka, ukawa sasa kwenye position ya kutengeneza notes zako nzuri na ukaanza kuendesha trainings kwa kwa client wako lakini pia unaweza kufanya hata trainings za malipo watu wanakuja wanajifunza wanalipishi kwa sababu na wewe umepata fursa ya kujifunza na kujua forex unaweza uka, ukafanya hivyo okay guys any question kama kuna swali
kama kuna swali kama hamna swali ningependa sasa nihitimishe hapo uh, let me say god bless you see you tomorrow guys and uh, it was a very uh, it was a very wonderful moment uh, kuwa na nyie hapa na bila shaka tume tumefikia lengo la leo thank you uh, see you see you tomorrow